Hey everybody. Okay, so the kids sick with the vid and it's Charlie's birthday weekend. Um, a little bit off topic for our normal channel because usually we're doing the reptile stuff, but I guess today we're doing recipes. So I'm making a big old pot of what I like to call sick soup. It's homemade chicken noodle soup. Uh, the main thing that you're going to end up needing is a family pack of chicken thighs, a thing of no yolk noodles, whatever seasonings you like and a little bit of chicken broth. I personally make my own, but you can also use the box stuff. So the very first step that we're gonna come to is you're gonna season the hell out of those chicken thighs. Whatever you think you need, double it as far as seasoning is concerned. We're then gonna turn around and we're gonna brown it all off because that's gonna give your soup a much better flavor. It's also gonna render a lot of the fat out of those, uh, the chicken skins, which is gonna give you a lot more flavor in your soup. Um, it's also going to give you a fat base to be able to saute your vegetables in, which doesn't seem like it would be a big deal, but it really, really enhances the flavor. <laughs> the next thing I turn around and do is I like to go ahead and prep. Uh, I prep four things of celery, a whole large white onion, and about, I'd say, three medium-sized carrots, four medium-sized carrots. And then you're going to dump all that in. You're going to give that just a few minutes to kind of get some color on it. Let those onions get some color on them. Um, and then right whenever you're hitting towards the end of that, you're going to put some garlic in it. Uh, you also are going to want to put onion powder. And my personal favorite garlic powder is this body of roasted garlic. You will never use normal garlic ever again. I also personally prefer the Slap Your Mama white pepper. If you can find it, I actually have to order it off Amazon because I never can find it anywhere. And then I also like to use this Rib Rack Spice Rub Chicken. It's really good stuff. So, that's part of my seasoning for my chicken. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to cook down all of our veg. Now, when all this veg kind of starts getting a little bit of color on it, and you're doing all this on like medium high to high heat where we're doing this quick so once you get done with all that you're going to turn around and you're going to essentially just about deglaze your pan with your chicken broth y'all don't judge it if anybody wants to know how i make my chicken broth this is how i store it don't judge we go through a lot of it i'll be more than happy to teach y'all how to do that uh unfortunately i only have one coke bottle worth of chicken broth so we're going to have to cheat a little bit today and use this. Um, I'm going to deglaze my pan with both of those. And I am not draining that pan. I'm leaving all the chicken drippings and all that goodness in there. Uh, we're going to let that cook for about 30 minutes or so. And then I'm going to pull all the chicken out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shred it. And then add the meat back in. Save all your bones and all your skin. And you're going to put that in your freezer, and that's how you make that broth later on. These are the noodles that we use. Uh, this is about a $12 dish, and it makes roughly 10 to 12 servings, depending on how big of eaters you have. I will tell you, these boys knock it out every time I make it. Um, super cheap, super easy. Most of the ingredients you can find on sale every week at your local, your local grocery store. But yeah, guys, I'll post a picture at the end of what it looks like, and y'all have a good day, stay safe, and I hope everybody's healthy out there. Y'all wish Charlie a happy birthday in the comments. Love y'all.